Hey everyone, so I was asked by Talziv, I believe, to demonstrate how I print on glass or a mirror. So the first thing I did was I took my piece of mirror, this one came off one of my Ender 3s, out to the sink and using a little warm and soap, warm water and soap, I cleaned the old hairspray off it and it comes off pretty easy. And use a scrub pad to hurry the process, but really doesn't come off that tough. For a while I was trying automotive products and um, honestly, it doesn't work any better than warm water and dish soap. So it's clean, at least clean enough for me. And I am going to take my, my Aquanet Super Extra Hold Hairspray, buck 99 at Wally World. And I am going to, and some people that I've seen on the internet will tell you to spray this thing so it's like a lake of hairspray on the top, let it dry, and then for 15 or 20 minutes and then do it again. I really haven't found that to be necessary. Does it work? Yeah, sure it does. But I just haven't found that much to be that necessary. You'll know if you don't have enough because nothing will stick to it. But um, plus I, I touch it up. If I pull a part off and it leaves a rough spot, I take my scraper and I scrape down until it's smooth and then I touch that spot up. And I've gotten 9, 10, 11, 12 prints out of it before I've had to completely, completely do it over. And then I've had things stick so bad that it yanks a big chunk of the hairspray up and it's out to the sink again. So let's do this. Let's apply some hairspray. And and I'm doing it in the house. I know I probably shouldn't, but I am. And that's pretty much it. That's my starting point. So I am going to move this over to a printer and I'm going to move the camera for a better angle and we will get a first print on it and see how okay, the first I'm back. turns out. Before we Hang start on. and before I put the clips on, let me show you one more time. What do you don't even have to pick it up and show you. You can see from where I was at. Once the hairspray is on, it's hard to tell it's on. It's been sitting on a heated bed for about five, ten minutes. So, I am going to put it back on, put the clips back on. I'm going to check the level real quick because I always do that once I, um, after I've had it off and cleaned it and resprayed it. Where's my other clip? There it is. And I always bring it up to temperature too before I, I level it. So I'm going to print in PLA, so I'm at 210C on the nozzle and 50C on the bed. Let's home it. And another interesting thing while I'm leveling this is I recently had the, the x-axis limit switch on this fail. It didn't really fail. The little metal part of it came off and I don't know where it went. So. I replaced it and I replaced it with an identical one and there are no adjustments on it. Let me um, disable the steppers here and um, it's really starting to whack into the into the switch a little harder than I remember it doing. So now did I turn that up? I did. I got to home it again. Sorry. thought I was doing something else for a minute. Okay, we're going to disable steppers, and this time we're not going to mess with the home. Whoops. I got it hooked on the clip. There we go. And let's just check this real quick. I like to use these long notepads. I get a bunch from Realtors. I got a boatload from these guys back in 2007, and I've never used them all. So here's pretty much how I do it. I try and make it easy on myself. And I like a fairly tight fit for PLA and hairspray. So I'm going to turn it till it just touches, back off, and then turn it about, I don't know, maybe, maybe two teeth on the gear a little more. And then I'm just going to slide it over. Going to do the same here. I must have had quite a build up of hairspray on it or something else changed. And then I just kind of spin that around, bring it there. 
and that way I'm never removing the paper out from underneath of it and that seems to be wow that's really way off I wonder what happened probably gonna have to go around it twice And doing it this way lets me um, lets me never really have the paper out from under it. Because half the time, once it comes out, I have trouble getting it back under, and then I wound up having wind up having to turn a screw to get it back under again. one more time because it was quite a ways out that's good and, and check one in the center check once in the center just to make sure yep we're good so bed level is good let's start a print and let's see what we get and this print is going to be a fallout vault 111 door drink coaster and I've been wanting to print it for a while I just haven't thought of a good reason why I should but um, there it is, vault111door.g code. We're already warmed up, so it's going to start. And I'll keep you around for the first layer or so, so you can kind of see how it goes. And I will readjust camera angle if necessary. But looks pretty good, really. See if I can zoom in a little bit, if it'll let me. Nope, that looks like that's about it. Okay, so I changed camera angles a little bit so you guys can better see this first layer printing. I'm going to leave it like this for a bit. So, the first layer is completely down, and the second layer has begun. And it um, looks like you can see it pretty well. You can see why I like printing on a glass or a mirror, because I, you can really tell when a mirror is flat. And hairspray, because it's really easy to set up. It's really reliable. It works almost every time, and it gives you a great bottom layer. There really isn't isn't anything not to like about it that I can, of course, unless you're like me and you keep dropping and breaking the mirrors, but, you know, that's just me. I'm sure you guys are nowhere near as clumsy as I am. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer. And um, in a future video, I'll show you how this this piece turns out. And I got a Another, and I was going to mention earlier, I should have done this on the other Ender 3 that didn't have the big fan thing in the way you'd see it better. But the other Ender 3 is set up for nylon right now, and I really don't want to change it right away because it's a pain in the butt to change. So I've got a video coming up on the nylon also. I just have a few more things to print. And that's about it. The nylon sticks to the glass really well, too. So that's about it. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you're looking for a printer, please click on one of my affiliate links. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.